just mention this subject and it's guaranteed to start an argument somewhere, in the parliament, in the churches, in your lounge room. We're talking about embryonic stem cell treatment, either the penicillin of the 21st century or pure Frankenstein, depending on your point of view. Scientists hope one day everything from spinal injury to heart disease will be cured by these tiny cells found in four or five day old human embryos. One day. But it seems some doctors are jumping the gun. One in particular is claiming remarkable results from this revolutionary treatment. And not surprisingly, she's attracting some very desperate people. On the ancient streets of Delhi, a city more accustomed to mystic healing than 21st century medicine, a Brisbane mother is seeking out a modern-day miracle. I never like this chair, uh, and I can never imagine myself being in a wheelchair for the rest of my life. It's just something inconceivable. Sonia Smith is a paraplegic, crippled in a motor vehicle accident. But she believes here in India, she'll walk again. Now I'm 45. I can't wait another 10 years or so for the treatment to be able to be available in Australia. I would not have been able to live with myself if I hadn't have tried this. When you first arrived here and saw this... <laughs> oh, what am I got myself into? <laughs> for the past three months, Sonia has been visiting this clinic in the back streets of India's capital, undergoing experimental embryonic stem cell treatment. This is my pathway to hope. This was the, the only hope that I've been able to hold on to. OK, let me see what you can do. And this is the woman she believes can help her walk again, the highly controversial Dr Geeta Schrock. You don't mind being viewed as someone who is playing with people's lives? No, I'm not playing with their lives. I'm working on them. I'm trying to help them. How many patients have you treated? More than 300. And has every one of them improved? I would say almost everybody. It's a huge claim that's disputed by the world's leading stem cell experts. All right, are you going to feel something cold? You know that. And Dr. Schroff is not in a rush to share her secrets. She refuses to let anyone see exactly what she does. All we're told is that Sonia's treatment involves injections of stem cells directly into her damaged spinal cord. Do you feel like a guinea pig? Oh, no, I don't. <laughs> but you are? Yes, yes, I am. I suppose, and all the other, the other 300 patients that she's treating, we are guinea pigs. <laughs> they are here with me with full consent. They know exactly what I'm doing. And they were willing to come in and do this. And, but, the, but these are vulnerable people. I mean, of course they'd be willing. No, I it's do not, take, I do not give any guarantees. You're prepared to take these risks with people's lives. I am. I've always been an innovator. And her desperate patients are prepared to take that risk too. For Sonia, the dream is to dance with her family once again, to be the active and energetic mother her daughters so obviously enjoyed. Be able to stand up, yes, to walk around the park with my kids to get back some of the active life that I had beforehand. You can't blame patients for believing they will walk again. Within weeks, Dr Schroff has them standing, but it's little more than a show. None of this is possible without full calipers and a walking frame. Oh, I'm taller than you, Liz. <laughs> you are. To be standing up and doing this, it's just, you know, I can't describe the feeling. I mean, it like, might look awkward to a lot of people, but, oh, it's just absolutely amazing. Now, what can you feel, Sonia, as you're doing this? I can, when I put my foot down, I can feel deep sensation in my heel. But it's great, it's a wonderful feeling. You've got a good set of pins oh. as well. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> Stem cells is the future. It is definitely going to help a lot of people.
It will be the panacea. Yes. Like when the discovery of penicillin changed the entire world of infection. And today we have antibiotics which are amazing. You compare it to that? I do. It seems incongruous that from such a dingy back alley comes world groundbreaking medical research. But Dr. Shroff can do so because medical protocols here in India are vastly different to those in the Western world. As long as a patient has an incurable disease or permanent disability, it seems just about anything goes. Yeah, now just stand for a while. Take deep breath and relax for a while. She's playing with people's lives. Some researchers use rats, others use humans. She's using humans to develop a therapy in a manner that is hardly scientific. Dr. Hans Kiersted is the world's leading stem cell expert. He believes Dr. Schroff is exploiting vulnerable people. There's no doubt in my mind that Dr. Schroff is peddling false hope. There's absolutely no doubt in my mind. I think it's an absolute crime to be charging individuals for something that has no scientific backing and that simply plays upon their hope and the enthusiasm in the stem cell field. While he's scathing about Dr. Schroff's treatment, Dr. Kiersted says there's no doubting the potential of this new frontier of medical science because he's proven it. In this revolutionary experiment, Dr. Kiersted injected paralyzed rats with embryonic stem cells. And the results were astounding. The cells wrapped themselves around the damaged spinal cord, enabling the messages from the brain to get down to the rat's legs. And within six weeks, the rats were walking again. Do you recall the moment when it was like, ah, yes? Absolutely. That was the time when I really, really had confidence in what we were doing. What uh, physical response did you have to that? Oh, I jumped up and down and screamed very loudly. <laughs> <laughs> and now Dr. Kirstead is about to take a massive leap forward with the first human trials later this year. That prospect has already sparked a huge moral and ethical debate about scientists playing God. The fact of the matter is, this is not Frankenstein science. This is a tremendous, tremendous gift that the community's been given, and we've got the chance to do good with it. How about uh, when you turn on your side? Okay. But the secretive and questionable methods of people like Dr. Schroff aren't helping the cause, not that she sees any need to explain her treatment. I do have an ethics committee in my own institution, and they govern everything I see. But nobody's allowed into your laboratory? No, my ethics uh, people, certain people are allowed, and they do know what I'm doing. I mean, but, uh, but I guess, what, I guess what I'm mine. saying yeah, is, yeah. for all we know, it may be apple juice going into this. Great, oh. if it's apple juice, then investigate it, please. Because it's helping, it's helping people. This is my 63rd injection since we arrived here. Now, if you're still thinking what Dr. Schroff is doing here might work, you should know this. None of her patients receive immunosuppressants or anti-rejection drugs. And without them, her treatment is not only useless, it could also be harmful. They are not immunosuppressed, which means that for certain, the patients that receive the cells are rejecting the cells. That is an adverse reaction and I think that most researchers in my position in first and second world nations are very very disturbed at renegade rogue researchers squirting cells that are unqualified into humans. Are there any risks involved? No we have not seen any side effects whatsoever. None? None. The patients just keep on coming, among them many Australians, forking out up to $50,000 for this unproven treatment. Can't use my hands, um, my speech, walking is now affected as well. Um, my arms have no, like no strength at all. So quite, yeah, debilitating. Do you feel like your body is shutting down on you? Totally, yep, totally shutting down. 
one. And this one. Yes. Oh, so how is she doing? Good. Deborah McCall has motor neurone disease and just 12 months to live. She's flown all the way from Melbourne with daughter Chelsea because Dr. Shroff says she can help. Cure would be wonderful, but I'm not also unrealistic either. So I think we're a few years away from that. But I have to start somewhere, so, and someone has to be willing to do it. So I'm more than happy. How long are you prepared to stay here? Well, I think now we're looking at two months. Yeah. Yeah. Right now, two months is a big chunk of your life. Mm -hmm. Yeah. But if it means more, like, more time, it's more worth it. At the end of the day, she knows exactly what she's coming for. And then from my side, I do not offer any guarantees, but I do tell her that I'm going to try. I'm not going to be uh, fooling her or anything like that. I am very honest with her. You don't offer false hope? Never. <laughs> Never. I never offer any false hope to anybody. After three months of intensive treatment, Sonia has finally returned to Brisbane. Back to her three daughters and husband, Phil. She's still a little fragile, but the kids are impressed by what they see. Oh my gosh. Can you see a difference in your mum? Um, she's a bit more happy, because when she wasn't able to kind of move, it was a bit of a struggle for her, so it's good to see her being able to do more stuff. And what do you hope for your mum? Being able to do stuff like cooking dinner. <laughs> <laughs> What are you hoping for, Sonia? Um, it'll be wonderful to be standing up with the girls. Be able to stand up and play ball with them. Maybe, you know, dance with my husband. Come in. Hello, I'm John Yeo. But the big question is, has the treatment really worked? We need to look at it, we need to talk to you, and that's why we've come today to do that. Oh, I'm, I'm happy, I'm happy to do that. Professor John Yeo is Australia's leading spinal expert. He's agreed to examine Sonia to find out the truth. Can you feel me touching you? No. Can you feel me touch you anywhere here or there? And the verdict? Well, there's been a slight improvement in Sonia's muscle tone, but still no feeling, and absolutely no evidence the stem cell treatment has worked. At the moment, it's recovery of a limited sort that could have come through intensive physiotherapy, but we haven't proven anything. No, that's right. It's hard work, isn't it, to get the brain up here, come all the way down, down. Would you be happy to send a patient to Dr. Schroff? At present, no. To the mainstream medical world, Dr. Geeta Schroff is a charlatan. Yet, despite all the controversy, all the doubts about her treatment, her business is booming. In the next few months, Sonia is returning to India for a second round of treatment. And there's little doubt many more will follow. I'm smiling again. I'm putting makeup on again, I'm doing my hair, I'm just feeling so much happier in myself. There's hope. And that is a really big thing that we all need, is hope. Hello, I'm Tara Brown. Thanks for watching 60 Minutes Australia. Subscribe to our channel now for brand new stories and exclusive clips every week. And don't miss out on our Extra Minutes segments and full episodes of 60 Minutes on 9now.com.au and the 9now app.